That's right, Five Seconds of Summer is back with a brand new single off their upcoming album. And the guys, Luke, Michael, Ashton, and Callum, join us now. What's up, fellas? Hey, how you doing? Thanks Dude, for having us. Congratulations, Complete Mess is the new single. So nice of you guys to write a song about me. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, this is an amazing kind of evolution of the band. Talk to me about the inspiration behind the new track. Okay, so. Do you want the real details? I do want the, I the, want true the real story. Tea, yeah. <laughs> so in the middle of the pandemic, well, I guess we're still in one, okay. but, <laughs> but in you the, know, the in, thick of it. In the thick of it, yeah. um, the band sort of uh, realized we need to get away and sort of go to somewhere remote. So we went to Joshua Tree, um, classic story. Yeah. And we went out there and just sort of wanted to be by ourselves and isolated and see what would happen if we make music great, if we, you know, just hang as mates and yeah. that's also <laughs> a win um, and we ended up making this song and a few other ones but this was the one that came like honestly it was one of the first ones we did out there yeah. and it st stood the test of time over the last year year and a half and it's been amazing we love this song we love the way it feels and the way it sums up the whole album um, musically and lyrically yeah it's really it's really like this song specifically is so personal to us because it's kind of the first song that we've all you know just written on our own and like we self-produced it mm. and kind of like we're really taking ownership and like pride into kind of our, you know, this new step right. for us, which is sort of like scary, but really exciting. As you mentioned, there's a lot that happened since your last record. I mean, the lockdown and the pandemic, a couple of you guys put out some solo records and stuff like that. But how would you describe, you know, this next era of Five Saws and how it compares to your previous work? I think overall for us, it feels like almost like the first album again. We worked for 10 years, like on our songwriting and our, well, not the last two years, but playing live and being like the best band we can be. Yeah. And particularly diving into like Michael producing this album, it's been like such an amazing journey of like learning stuff and doing it in a way where it's just the four of us right. for a lot of the album. It's been, um, it just feels a little bit more, I guess, for lack of better words, like very free and like, yeah. it feels beautiful to be honest. And personal, I'm sure too, It's definitely right? personal, very introspective. We had a lot of time, uh, obviously everyone had some time at home um, to sort of, I don't know, dive through things internally and think sure. talking through that as a band, it was really, yeah, it's really in the music. This is the first song entirely written and produced by y'all. What was that experience like and how did it challenge you? I think the best part about making this new, you know, complete mess, but also a lot of these other songs that we've made that we also haven't released yet, but we sort of really trusted each other. We trusted each other's musical ability and kind of our musical intuition and you know, we really, you know, it, it's just, it's kind of crazy and, and like in, in, in a way without, you know, going too much into it, but like we really have faith in each other and we really like, you know, believe in each other's songwriting and our ability as artists. So I think that, that to me was like the most, yes. like the like greatest part about all of this music that we've made is like, we're so proud of each other in how we've grown and sort of the the type of thing that we want to create together and sort of we're able to you know with complete mess especially like articulate the exact band that we are now and like you know it's so like it resonates so deeply within us and we're just kind of you know, hope that other people understand that and see it and it resonates with them too. Were you able to take a step back and realize, wow, we have actually accomplished not only a lot together, but we've grown together too. Have you felt that? Like, I, I feel like, you know, you can't predict how the bond will evolve with the music, right? But clearly you guys are closer than ever. Yeah, I, th I think it's also pretty special to be in a band. I mean, I, I experience it every day, you know. It's, it's a special connection when, you know, everyone gives each other space to be mm. uh, free within their creative expression. Um, and also a band that always works to be better at communicating um, and that's you know a quality that will keep us around for a long time um, so the key to longevity right no exactly and yeah. and I think it's just important for people to know like a lot of work goes into um, the dynamics of this band and absolutely um, I think we're just more passionate than ever to um, create some good for people absolutely well here's what I want to know when you guys have had moments of being a complete mess How'd you get through it? You know, what's the secret there? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I mean, I'm the drummer, obviously. Uh, drum therapy is yes. key. Just and I've been thinking out. about opening a store on a, you know, whatever. Yeah. Just, no. <laughs> yeah, remember like Roomba? Or what was oh, that? Yeah, Zumba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zumba? I was like <laughs> thinking to do it. Zumba class going? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking something like that. But we always like turn it around. We go, okay, we have an opportunity to put our lives onto paper into a song. 
um, and be expressive in that way, and it's kind of therapy. So, you know, having this band in 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 you know adult life is just incredible. It, it's a place to share. It's a place to work it out. How about you guys? When you're a complete mess, what kind of pulls you out of there? Well, I might have to go to this drum therapy thing that I was talking about. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Sign yeah. us up, man. It's changed, but I think I don't know. Just having time to even digest all of it and mm. like understand that we have been a band for 10 years and how awesome that is yeah. that we're still here. Isn't and like, that a trip? A decade you guys have been together. You've been five sauce for 10 years. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? Like being in a band is like being married. And I know yeah. we say that often. I was often. thinking that when we were explaining like communication. <laughs> like, and like <laughs> honesty and stuff. It's like we've been married for 10 years now. Trust. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. like everything. You have to put in some work, right? Yeah, exactly. Yep. It's not <laughs> easy. Somebody. Does it feel like 10 years has passed? Sometimes. It feels like 10 years has passed, but it feels like for some reason I want to do it for another 10. Okay. You know, yeah. it's, it's kind of just like, oh, yeah. um, it's like, wow. You know, the more people we share our music with, the more connectivity we create through our music. It's just really inspiring to be alive yes. and to be able to do this and, and do this thing. You know? And speaking of connection, you guys are going to hit the road again soon. How excited are you to like interact with your fans, go back on tour? I l was lucky enough to see you guys live and you shred. Love Amazing. that. Yeah. yeah, we do shred. You do. <laughs> you guys put on quite the show. Okay. But how excited are you guys to go on tour? Oh, they were ready. It's kind of like, you know, we haven't done it in a couple years and we're getting, I wouldn't say rusty. But, <laughs> but, we're getting rusty. You know, like, <laughs> getting, yeah. you know, I'm starting to think, okay, we better, you know, get this show on the road, hopefully. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I know your excited. fans are ready. They're like so ready to see you guys. They're like, they're already mm -hmm. pitching what cities you guys need to hit. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right? Like, they're like, we'll come to any. They like, at this yeah. point, we're like, just let us in. They should organize our tours. You know? <laughs> I yeah. love it. Before I let you go, Luke, all right, one of your latest TikTok videos has fans buzzing. When you marry the girl that wrote this banger. Little do you know how I'm breaking while you fall asleep. So I have to ask, yes. are you married or what? I've never heard anyone buzzing. say that. Uh, your TikTok That's is only, buzzing, My dude. TikTok's buzzing? Yeah, your TikTok <laughs> is buzzing. We did it. Uh, People I've, think you're married. What I say you? <laughs> no, I miss, I meant marry in the future. Right. But I didn't, it's the, uh, the voiceover thing on TikTok that I've only just figured out how to use. Um, it's confusing. It's very confusing. It was there and I couldn't change it. And it was supposed to be like going to marry. Okay. So are you married or what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say he's got a lot of rings on his fingers, but I don't, <laughs> see, I don't think that's a wedding band. You know, I don't think that's a wedding band. All right, you guys, congratulations on Complete Mess. I can't wait to see you back on the road. And the full album, man, what do you want fans to know about it in one word? Who's got a good word? Immersion. Ooh. There you have it, folks. Yeah, All right, five seconds of summer. Thank you guys so much no for being here. Thank we appreciate you. you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thanks for having us.